So I actually wound up going on a canoe trip and this is pretty much where all of that took place. I thought it'd be a cool experience because I'd never been canoeing before. So honestly, we, we met up at this big like little uh, shack place or, or whatever, realized that that wasn't really the location that everybody was meeting up at to actually get on the buses to drive to the shore to actually pick our canoes out and go canoeing. And um, eventually we wind up finding these people that uh, you know are grouped up together getting ready to get you know shuttled over to the shoreline and it was actually a pretty interesting experience we hop on the bus I got to you know joke around with some peoples and stuff like that you know I'm a big old goofball so that's normally how stuff goes down you feel me and uh, it was cool so there was a tour guide on the bus that was pretty much letting us know what we were getting ourselves into and um, he basically was saying that when we do enter this area and stuff like that like this this uh this area that we're going to be canoeing in um there's a lot of creatures there's alligators there's crocodiles there's sea turtles there's a lot of like you know foreign creatures in the water so that's why i'm making that face right there and stuff and i'm like oh boy your boy might turn up dead you feel me um but i i, I wanted to have this experience like one of my my a couple a few of my friends are convincing me to go canoeing because it was therapeutic and honestly I mean, I was definitely in for a treat because it was a new experience. I had never done anything like this before. And let me know if any of you guys that are watching this have, have ever been on a canoe trip, if you guys have just done this for fun, um, which is probably the only reason why you would do this, right? Let me know in the comments down below, like what do you guys do for, you know, just something to relax. I just wanna, I wanna know, I wanna find out because this was actually a very interesting experience. And this is everything leading up to that. So we get to the shoreline and everything and of course, I'm wondering what canoe I'm going to be using because there's a whole bunch of open free canoes available for use that we can pick from and it's kind of interesting because there's there's a person there that actually assigns you like a canoe pretty much like hey like they partner you up with people based on whether or not you want to use a kayak or a canoe and I wanted I wanted to canoe so they put me with another person that I thought I got along with really well but apparently we had some conflicts along the way and I'll kind of explain in detail what that is but I will say this it is very important that if you are going on a canoe trip go with somebody that you are compatible with because I mean communication is key on boat trips like this like you can't really be hopping on a boat with somebody you don't get along with so yeah I must say though the boat trip was very nice very beautiful and stuff therapeutic um, actually right here funny story I actually thought it would be a genius idea to put my GoPro on the side of the boat and I was super cocky and stuff so I'm like hey look at what I did I had the best shot ever my GoPro stuck to the side of the boat hey look at me look at me look at me and then of course this unfortunate stuff happens I mean just look at this look at this yeah my, my, my GoPro falls underwater and I was freaking out A few hours later, my friend finds my GoPro in the water and stuff and rescues it so I can record the rest of the boat trip. So I'm not gonna lie, your boy was putting in that work, man. I was on a, I was on a mission. I wanted to finish this canoe journey as fast as possible. However, my friend wanted to take breaks every five minutes and I was relentless. He actually got out of the boat a couple times and went swimming in the lake and I never stopped rowing. I kept rowing no matter what. So actually at the end of this uh, video, you'll see that he's not really with me because I kind of left him behind. And you know, that's just because I was very motivated, man. What else so, can I say? Uh, if we go missing, you know exactly what happened. Isn't that right, Jablonski? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my God, there's bees in the sky. Look at that. And there's a moon out too. The moon's out and some Jones are out. The government follows us everywhere we go. Fools, I am the government. <laughs> so this is literally about like two and a half hours into, you know, canoeing and stuff. I had been rowing for a minute and it was it was you know getting a little tiring your boy's back muscles was hurting a little bit and you know we were getting a little hungry and stuff like that because we hadn't eaten now despite the smiles on my face it was very strenuous but i did like it you know it was a really good workout i'm not gonna lie if you guys ever decide to go canoeing it's actually really cool uh it, it's a, it's therapeutic like i said before and it also gives you the ultimate workout nothing beats ro rowing anywhere 
um, than ro rowing in like some actual water, like the actual river and stuff like that. Very authentic experience, you know. Definitely would recommend. <laughs> so, uh, made it. For the long fucking yeah, three hours. God damn. Feet. Alligator feet, man. I belong out here. It's the land of my people. <laughs> yep, the boat trip concluded. We headed back home. And we were heading back to our cars that were parked up the hill and stuff like that. And I had a good time. Let me know if you guys do stuff like this. Just, you know, for fun or whatever. I'm curious. Let me know in the comments down below.